Hello. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the installation of our stainless steel cabinet door restraints, as well as show you the tools you will need to complete your project. The first thing you're going to need is a package of our cabinet door restraints. They can be purchased in packs of varying quantities from Amazon.com. I'll make sure to put a link to those in the description for you. You can also purchase custom links and quantities from our website. I'll also make sure to put a link to that in the description. In addition to the cabinet door restraints, you're going to need some basic tools. You'll need a drill along with an eighth inch drill bit, a tape measure, some masking tape, a screwdriver or a drill, and a pencil or a sharpie to mark screw hole locations. Before we get started, I want to give you a word of caution. In our cabinet door restraint kits, we provide screws that are a half inch in length. Before we start any installation, we need to make sure that the screws aren't going to go through whatever it is we're attaching them to. That goes for cabinet doors and cabinet tops or bottoms. All of the material that we'll be installing the restraints to in this video are more than a half inch thick, so we're good. Just make sure yours are too. It's also a good idea to wrap a piece of masking tape around the drill bit to act as a depth gauge so you don't drill too far. We're going to be installing three cabinet door restraints in this kitchen display. In our case, all three door handles hit the adjacent wall when the doors are opened, but the restraints would work equally as well if the doors were opening into another cabinet or an appliance. Alright, let's start our installation with the upper right cabinet door. First, measure out from the edge of the door 7 inches and make a mark about 1 inch down from the top of the door with your sharpie. This is going to be where we drill the first hole. Using the drill and the 8th inch drill bit, drill the hole making sure to stop where the piece of masking tape tells you to stop. Now using the screws provided and your drill or screwdriver, mount one end of the restraint to the door. Screw this screw down tight with the restraint pointing back towards the cabinet as shown. Next, grab the other end of the cable and hold it tight while you position the door at the opening angle you want it to stop at. Use your sharpie to mark the next screw location. Now drill the second hole and then screw the other end of the restraint into the cabinet. It's important not to screw this screw down too tight. It needs to be loose enough to allow the restraint to pivot out of the way when the door is opening and closing. And that's it. Our first cabinet door restraint installation is finished. Here you can see how the restraint folds out of the way when the door is closed and then opened again. All right, it's time for our second install. This time we're gonna be installing on the wall cabinet that's sitting on the countertop on the left. Let's get started. First, measure out from the edge of the door about seven inches and make a mark about one inch down from the top of the door. Using our drill, and the eighth inch drill bit. Drill a hole, making sure to stop where the piece of masking tape tells you to stop. Now using the screws provided and your drill or screwdriver, mount one end of the restraint to the door. Make sure to screw this screw down tight, pointing back towards the cabinet as shown. Next, we'll mark the location for the second hole, so grab the other end of the cable and hold it tight. And using the Sharpie, mark the location for the next hole. Now drill the second hole and screw the other end of the restraint to the cabinet. Again, it's important not to screw this down too tight. It has to be loose enough to allow the restraint to pivot out of the way when the door is opened and closed. And we're finished with the installation of cabinet restraint number two. Here you can see how the door opens and closes and the restraint folds out of the way nicely. And now the door handle doesn't hit the wall when it's opened. All right, let's get started with the third installation. It'll be the base door on the lower right. You can see when this cabinet door is open, the handle hits the wall. We can fix that. From the back of the door, measure out about seven inches 
and one inch down from the top of the door and make a mark with your Sharpie. Using your eighth inch drill bit, drill the hole making sure to stop where the piece of tape tells you to stop. Now using the screws provided and a drill or a screwdriver, mount one end of the restraint to the door. Screw this screw down tight with the restraint pointing back towards the cabinet as shown. Next, grab the cable and hold it tight while you position the door at the opening angle you want it to stop at. Again, use your Sharpie to mark the next screw location. Now drill the second hole and screw the other end of the restraint into the cabinet. Make sure you don't screw this screw down too tightly. It needs to be loose enough to allow the restraint to pivot. Our final two installations will be done on this cabinet display. Both of the wall cabinet doors open into and hit the adjacent walls, so we're going to fix that problem. The cabinetry in this installation is a little bit different than in the previous example, so I'm going to show you how to install the restraints on the face frames of these cabinets. Just like the other installs, measure out from the back of the cabinet door 7 inches and about 1 inch down from the top and mark the location for the first screw hole. Using the drill and an eighth inch drill bit, drill the hole, making sure to stop at the depth indicated by our piece of masking tape. Screw the restraint to the door with the restraint facing backwards towards the cabinets. Next, grab the other end of the cable while adjusting the door to an opening angle that doesn't hit the wall and mark your next screw location on the edge of the face frame. Drill the last hole and screw the restraint to the face frame making sure to leave this screw loose so the restraint can pivot on the screw when it's opened and closed. Alright, it's time for the last cabinet door restraint installation and it's going to be on the wall cabinet to the right. I'm going to show you an alternative mounting location that works for this particular type of cabinetry. It won't work for all types of cabinetry, but if your cabinets, doors, and hinges are similar to these, then it may work for you as well. Really, the only difference with this installation is the attachment point to the cabinet. Here, I'll attach the restraint to the edge of the face frame on the hinge side instead of the top. All of the other parts of the installation remain the same, and as always, make sure you leave the screw on the face frame loose so that the restraint can pivot when the door is opened and closed. Thank you for watching our installation video. Our American-made stainless steel door restraints are available for purchase on Amazon.com as well as our website. On our website, we also offer custom links and bulk purchases, so make sure to check that out if you need alternative sizes or quantities. We'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the men and women that serve and have served in our armed forces. One way we do this is by donating a portion of each sale to the Wounded Warrior Project. If you'd like to donate or learn more about the Wounded Warrior Project, just look for the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching.